we found a way because we sort of did some fine tuning to not glue part of the prosthetic down on my like kind of going over from my my eyes to my cheeks so there's a little kind of like a little channel of air that would that would come in through my eye sockets <laughs> go into my nose so and it was hot under there Whew, it was really it's boiling and i can't hear because the prosthetic is covering my ears so i can't breathe i can't hear and in uh, right before each take they would put my my eyes in basically which would fog up instantly almost, you know? So it was a, an incredible pressure situation of like, cause I can't really see or hear or breathe. And, uh, um, but that was, and I, I experienced this a lot in life is like quite often the first days, <laughs> the first parts of life are ho- often the hardest, but stick, stick with it and you get through it. And then it's an incredible sense of satisfaction and achievement that you can prove that under some challenging experiences and you know what and, and i say this um there was never any complaints with that as i'm saying is like oh yeah it was really hot i could breathe but in no way ever was i going to be like oh, i don't want this i'm like i will be here for as long as you want me <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'm gonna love and appreciate every single moment because i sure. really recognize my pro- i know where i've come from and i know what i've gone through to get to this place and i'm just so grateful to be here uh, and getting to play with everyone, collaborate with everyone, and to do the work. And uh, so there's there's no complaints. <laughs> I never complain when I'm on set. I'm so yeah. grateful to be there. So, yeah, what, that was it. It was huge. I, I'm a fan of, uh, of Conan O'Brien. Um, yeah. did, was there opportunities? Like, do you ever get starstruck? Like, oh, my God, yeah. I'm working. Like, how, was he ever around a lot? or No, he was never around. Yeah. Uh, so he's an executive, one of many executive producers. So he's he was kind of busy at that time doing sure. his show, <laughs> his nightly show. So because uh, we filmed this up in Toronto as well. Oh, okay. If we, were right. shooting, if we were shooting in LA, then that could have been a definite yeah. possibility for sure. But you know, logistically, they just unless sure. he did a show from Toronto, uh, which he did many years ago. I think. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, but we actually got to meet him because he invited the cast onto the show. Yeah, so yeah. we got to go on Conan, uh, which was an incredible experience. That was very surreal. And uh, as you said, yeah, I was starstruck. I'm like, oh my gosh, like, because again, <laughs> this is so surreal to be in the green room. Uh, like, and, and Keegan Michael Key <laughs> was the guest before us. Oh, uh, jeez. So, I mean, you know, great improv, like, just yeah. heavyweight. And, uh, um, so it was an incredible, like, I'm, I'm giddy. I'm just like, oh my gosh. And, and, uh, the cool thing, I remember like standing, cause there's a bit, people at birth was a huge cast, huge yeah. and soft cast. So we're all there, like about to go out, we're behind the curtain. And again, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so surreal. Like about to go on a TV show, uh, like a talk show that, you know, you watch since you're a kid. And, uh, but maybe two minutes before we stepped out, I'm like, like again and i have this conversation often in my head where i get really nervous about shows and you know performing and then about maybe two minutes before the show starts or something happens where i'm like but i'm here and i'm just gonna have fun that's all i can do right now and i'm just gonna have fun and enjoy this moment and then they called us out 